All right, what's going on everyone? It is hot and muggy out, but I it's the weekend, headed to the lake, and I'm gonna do some fresh water snorkeling this weekend. So hopefully we'll get some good fish footage for you. I'm expecting the fish to be pretty deep, but who knows until we get out there. Let me tell you, uh, this sand pit is very clear in Kansas standards, let's put it this way. So most lakes in Kansas, you can't see about like a foot, two feet in front of you. This, we might have five to eight feet visibility. Who knows? We'll see when we get out there. All right, let's do this. So after jumping in, I noticed that the visibility is way, way better than I expected. And it turns out we got some pretty cool footage. Hope you enjoy. So this largemouth must have had a crush on my GoPro for some reason. He must have saw his reflection or thought it was, you know, some kind of bait because he just would not leave me alone. I literally had to cut about four minutes of him just swimming at the GoPro and swimming around it and everything like that. It was a cool, cool encounter. You can really tell that shade and cover were at a premium here. Look at all these fish just swimming through these lily pads, having a good time, hanging out in the shade, eating minnows, doing their thing.
So these next few channel cats you're going to see have these large lacerations and cuts all over their body. This typically happens during the spawning season when males are fighting over females and fighting over territories. You'll notice that some of these scars are pretty deep and even it can get so intense that they lose their fins. You're in the lake. Yep. Jasper, what are we doing? Exploring to look for fish. Exploring, looking for fish. Good call. All right, Captain Crew. Bye. Bye.